My name is David Gleason, and I'm going to talk to you today about the changes required when you move away from chlorine for washing your milking machine. In the past, detergent products contained sodium hydroxide and chlorine. They were often, they are referred to as detergent sterilizers. The new products, which are basically caustic only, are labeled chlorine free, CF on the drum. That's how you know the difference. So there are a few steps required when you change over. The first is, that's necessary is hot water. There's a necessity for at least seven hot washes per week, and in, in some routines require 14 hot washes per week. The critical part about hot water is you have at least nine liters per unit, that the starting temperature is at least 75, 77 degrees. You must check the temperature in the wash trough. There's no point in just checking in the tap in the dairy. Check in the trough prior to the wash. The second thing is the finish temperature must be at least 45 degrees. Very often the reason for this temperature being so low is that the wash systems are running for far too long. Eight to 10 minutes is sufficient to wash any milking machine. The next thing that's important change that's taking place is in the past you had acid washes, one per week. With the new protocols, you'd need at least three hot acid washes per week. In some of those protocols, there's up to 12 washes per week based on acid. And that's based on the new one for all products which are designed to disinfect, clean, and sterilize. So acid is a new part of the new changeover. The next thing that's important is the use of parasitic acid. Parasitic acid is a replacement for chlorine, and it can be used for disinfecting clusters and for sterilizing the plant. The importance about this is very effective against termogenic bacteria. It doesn't have to be rinsed out after, after use because it evaporates. Um, the cru crucial thing, of course, is that it should be an additional rinse. So you rinse out your detergent, and then you are following rinse with parasitic acid. The next point that's important is in relation to the use of caustic. Caustic concentration must be used a little bit higher than in the past. For example, you now must, you can't recycle that caustic product anymore, number one. Number two, the usage rates are now up at 0.7% for hot water and 1% working solutions for cold, as, as compared to 05 in the past. So there's changes in the amount you use. So in order to be, have the right temperature, the right water, first of all you need to know is the size of your wash trough. You need to calibrate both your bull tank and your milking machine. Find out how much you're using because the new products without chlorine, the viscosity is much heavier, so the suck up rate will be much slower. So it's critical that you recalibrate bull tank and auto washers. Ask your serviceman to adjust accordingly then. There are five chlorine free wash protocols that have been tested and evaluated at Moore Park, and there are three protocols chlorine free for the bull tank. These can be viewed on the Chagas webpage on the link below. Thank you.